Okay, folks, welcome back to the last part of our video tutorial here with Sierra Charts. Again, we're covering the basics, time to get started with the platform. We're going to go into uh, pulling up the chart trader, the charts, and using the market replay. So to get a new chart, as we showed you before, you're going to File, Open New Intraday Charts. From the list, choose the E-mini S&P. It's the one that we're looking at right now. Click Open. And there you can see the chart there. If you use the arrows on your keyboard, you can back it up. Okay, give yourself a chance to see the trade develop. Right-click, um, go to Chart Settings. Immediately go to Advanced Settings and Lock Fill Space. Okay, so you can see the fill space right there. Click Apply, click OK. Uh, any other changes you want to make, you can, again, right-click on the charts, go to Chart Settings. You can change to Open High Low Candles. Okay. If you only want to see the bodily of the candle, line close, what have you, pretty much we stick to on uh, candlesticks. If you want to change this to a five minute, you go to where it says bar period, five. If I click apply, that's a five minute chart. Um, if you wanted to tick charts, you would go to number of trades per bar. So in this case, if I wanted a 233 tick chart, I'd make it number of trades per bar. Okay, and then I click apply. And there's your tick charts. Okay. Uh, there's also Renko charts on here as well. So you can change all of those. In this case, I'm going to go back to our time charts. And I'm going to make it a one minute. Click apply. Click OK. If you want to switch the market that you're looking at under symbol, just change it here. So you can go to CLM6- NYMEX, if you're unsure, you can always look up or hit find, and they'll give you the symbol. So there's the crude oil NYMEX for June, okay? Again, right-click on a chart, go to chart settings. I want to change that back to the E-mini S&P, so I'm going to go ESM6-CME. Click apply, click OK, and there you are. So that's how you're going to switch that, uh, switch those charts up. Okay, and change the contracts that you're looking at. All right, so next thing, add um, our studies. Again, right-click on the chart, go to studies. In this case, if I want to add a uh, Bollinger Band, I hit add. Okay, if I want to scroll down and I want to add a few more, okay. If, let's go down to something that everyone's familiar with. We can add the MACD. Okay. Also scroll down and let's grab the stochastics as well. So by clicking on the add, that allows you to move it over by clicking on the indicator and going to settings. Now I can go in here and change um, any kind of standard deviations and things like that. Go to subgraphs and I can change the color. Okay, so if I want, I can change the top bar to blue. Click OK. Middle bar, I want to make that one white. Click OK. And then the lower one, I want that one to be red. Click OK. And I'm going to hit apply and click OK. There's my charts with everything that I have set up on it. Okay, if I want to add a trade window. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, Attach Trade Window to Charts, and there you have it. Just like we went over before, same setup, um, placing orders, buy markets, sell markets. If you're looking to add a simple bracket, just hit the blank space at the top, drop down, simple bracket, first go to Targets. They always come out at 8 ticks. Okay, so I'm going to make it a 12 tick profit target. Drop down to Stop, make it 6 tick Stop. Okay. And now I'm going to go over to the main window. If I don't want to use them yet, I can just trade manually. So in this case, if I want to sell markets, okay, then if I want to buy markets. But if I want to use my strategy, I go to use attach orders. Now when I go to buy markets, I get a stop on the profit target. Then I can adjust. Okay. So those will automatically put that in as long as you have those check marks. If you hit the M and go to Confirmations, 
that's where it's going to show you uh, you can on track it asking you questions and things like that okay so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead if I hit uh, cancel all cancels all working orders again flatten will flatten us out um, if I want to trade direct from the charts I simply right click wherever my cursor comes to rest so underneath this candle right here I'm going to work to sell one on a stop okay so I'm not filled yet okay I've got a stop I've got my profit target in so I'm working a stop a sell stop just underneath that candle Let's see if we can get it triggered Okay, so that's how you work that. Now we've got a position, we're short one, we've got a buy stop on top and a buy limit below. Again, we can always hit reverse, cancel all, or flatten. I'm going to go ahead and hit flatten and flatten this out. Okay, so you can trade on the chart just right-clicking wherever your cursor comes to rest. You've got prompts of what you want to do. Buy stop, sell stop, buy limit, sell limit. Sell limits are above, buy limits are below. Buy stops are above the market, sell stops are below the market. Okay, so you've got all those things there. Um, other thing that we have as well is if we go to tools, okay, you've got all your drawing tools here that you can see. So if you wanted to, um, you want to highlight certain areas and see what the volume is. I just did that volume profile. Okay, I'll show you how to do that again. Go to tools and then go to draw volume profile again I want to see what the volume looks like in here okay holding down the control button I can stretch that out going down below grabbing the time frame I can pinch that up or squeeze it out okay so I can add volume profile pretty much anywhere that I'd like and then when I'm done with it I can erase that drawing profile by clicking erase drawings so all my tools again are going to be up top your Fibonacci replacement, retracements, uh, Fibonacci, GAN fans, and all that, okay, are going to be here. Okay. Now, when you're done, uh, you want to get your um, cursor back. Go to the top and click on cursor. Now we have our cursor back. If you don't get your cursor, it's going to keep uh, keep you in that drawing mode. So make sure you go back up top and get your cursor. Okay, if I want to remove this from um, this workspace and move it to a different monitor, I go to the top, I click Spreadsheet, Detach, and now I can move it. If I want to attach it back, go back to Spreadsheet, and that will bring it back. Okay, if I want to add more than one chart, Now I can just go again, File, Open Intraday Charts. We'll stick with the same market. Click Open. In this case, I'm on a different type of chart. Right-clicking here, I go to Studies. Say I want uh, cumulative delta charts. Those are called numbers bars on this platform. So if I want to go to numbers bars, and then don't forget, Add. And if I click Apply and OK, and then I go and drag the candles out, and I can see the volume in each candle. Okay. Likewise, right-clicking on the chart, going back to Studies. If I want to remove that, I hit Remove. Click Apply. Then I can go here and scroll down to TPO, Time, Price, Opportunity, or Market Profile. And we're going to go Profile Charts, Value Areas. Okay. I'm going to go into the TPO Profile Charts and hit Settings. And that's going to allow me to make some changes here. In this case, I want to just put the TPO as letters. Click Yes. Click Apply. Click OK. Click OK again. Again, you can grab the bottom, the time frame. And I can scrunch everything up using the arrows on the left. OK. And now I can... 
add this now to my workspace. Okay, so I've got market profile as well. I can currently see where the market is as it's working through the profile of today's trading activity. You can see where support and resistance levels are. Okay, so again, this comes uh, free with the platform. Um, check the version, I'll contact our help desk, support at ampreachers.com so that you know which version has it. There's a version 3 and a version 5. Okay. All right. Last thing I want to show you um, is we're going to close this out. Click yes. I'm going to go ahead and blow this up. And we want to right click on the charts, go back to studies. Let's take off the studies that we don't need. So again, you just remove them. Okay. Hit remove. Let's remove that. Click apply. Click OK. All right, hold down the control button allows me to scrunch everything up. And now I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to hit RPL. It's the weekend, and I want to see what I missed over the week or try to do a little bit of trading. Click 100 as the speed. Okay. Now, what you want to do is make sure you have a chart trader on. Scroll back as far as you want to trade to that time period. Then hit RPL. Make the speed 100 and hit play. Hit yes and you'll see it'll start to play. And the great thing about this market profile is let's say I want to trade it. Okay, I want to trade with my stops and targets. There you go. Okay, so I just bought one. Okay, I can move my stop out of the way if I think I'm going to get stopped out. Okay, there goes the market. I'm going to click yes. I'm going to move my stop up protect my profits, click yes. There's my profit target up top. So you see I'm trading right along with the market prof with the market replay. Okay. And then we're out. And so I can continue to make trades with this. And when I'm done with the market replay, I hit stop. And it's going to take me back to the market as usual to where we are. Okay, so again, that's on the RPL. Again, at the top here, you've got tools for all your drawing tools. Under the trade window, you can pull up your trade activity log. Okay, trade in positions. You can pull up. You can see them on the chart as well. And again, that's under the trade window. Okay, you can see uh, market depth on the chart as well um, if you want to use that function. So there are quite a few things that you can see here. Uh, you can draw a DOM on the chart. Okay, as you can see that as well. Again, right clicking on the chart allows you to place orders anywhere you want on the chart. And that's the chart trade window. Okay. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us support at ampfutures.com. We're more than happy to walk you through the trading platform. Uh, when you're done, don't forget, hit save and save it as a, ch it's called a chart book. That is your word for workspaces with this platform. It's called a chart book. So don't hesitate to save your chart book and then you'll be able to go in where it says OC and you can open chart book and you'll see here's today's setup, Sierra basic setup. I've already had that saved in there so then I can just reference that workspace at any time. Okay, all right, I want to thank you for uh, listening to this brief synopsis of using the charts and uh, market replay. Should be a big help. If you have any questions again, you can uh, email us support at amfutures.com. Enjoy.